What's up guys, it's James here and in today's video we're gonna talk about the number one lifestyle business for anyone who's just starting out, wants to get out of the nine to five, wants to stop grinding away working a corporate job for someone else. You know, if you're looking for a really great lifestyle business, then this is it and I'm gonna talk to you about why. So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post two new videos every single week. So you'll wanna stay up to date with the channel and everything that we post. And also, if you want a more detailed training on how to execute on exactly the business model that I'm gonna share with you in this video right now, then just click the link down below. Register for that training on how to earn a full-time income managing other people's properties on Airbnb. You will not be disappointed. That's gonna be a much longer, more in-depth training video that is yours completely free so that you can check it out and learn exactly all the ins and outs, how to get clients, how to grow the business, how to scale things, how to manage your operations really effectively and turn everything passive so that it can be a really great lifestyle business. So you want access to that training, it's here for a limited time. Just click the link in the training down below or in the description down below rather and make sure that you register and grab yourself a spot for that free training. So all that being said, let's dive into it now. As you may have guessed from what I just mentioned, this business is going to be managing other people's properties on Airbnb. And I want to talk to you not so much about the business model itself, because if you're if you're familiar with the channel, then you've probably seen I have a bunch of other videos that talk about the business model itself, some of the other pros and cons but I wanna to talk to you about why I specifically think that this business is such an incredible lifestyle business to start if you are a beginner and you're looking for a good lifestyle business, meaning a business that can replace your nine to five, that can give you a good high quality of life that you can be relatively relaxed with growing it and have it be a nice you know, 70, 80, $100,000 a year income for you without a whole bunch of stress and frustration and headache. Now. The number one reason that I recommend this as a great starting point and a great lifestyle business is because it is so low risk. There's really no risk other than your time when you're getting started with this business because unlike a lot of other business models, you're not spending your money on expensive marketing campaigns or you know spending it on expensive inventory, anything like that. You, know, you don't have any of these big startup or heavy operational costs that a lot of other businesses face. If you look at other business models, if you're looking at, for example, Amazon drop shipping, let's take that as one example. Well, you know, in order to do that, you're going to then have to spend money on building out your site. You know, you're going to have to spend money on potentially getting inventory if you're doing drop shipping or something like that. And that can easily add up to even tens of thousands of dollars. That's a big risk to take if you're looking to get out of your nine to five, because if you lose that money, if it doesn't go so well, that means you're going to be that much further away from your goal. So having a business model where you don't have to invest heavily into upstart costs, that's a really big advantage. Now, the other really nice thing is that because you have very, very few operational costs, few ongoing costs in the business, it also gives you a lot of room for error. You can make mistakes. It's a very forgiving business model in that respect, right? Because if you think about a typical business, you're usually going to be spending on things like online advertising. You know, for a lot of businesses, they spend hundreds of dollars a day just running ads. Now that's number one, very stressful. So for a lifestyle business, that doesn't always work that well, especially when you're just getting started and getting the hang of things. But the other thing is that that means that you now have a whole bunch of money coming out of your bank account every single day or every single month because of these expenses. So you need to make sure there's a pretty low margin for air, you've got to make sure that you're bringing in more than that in revenue. Whereas with Airbnb management, the really cool thing is that to get clients, we can do that completely organically. So we don't have to spend money to acquire new property owners, new uh, new clients, and then to list these properties and market them to get bookings, we're just putting them for free on Airbnb. Now, ultimately, yeah, Airbnb takes a commission, they upcharge guests and they take a cut, but that's not money that's coming out of our bank account. So again, we have a really nice high margin for error there, where it just gives you a lot of different opportunity, a lot of flexibility. So that's my number one and kind of number two reason for why it's such a great lifestyle business is that there's no upstart capital and very few ongoing expenses in the business. So it just makes it very easy for someone to start up. 
Now, the other thing, the other reason, number three, is that there's very few technically heavy skills. Now, sure, you do have to understand Airbnb and how it works, but that's pretty baseline for a lot of people. And if it's new to you, if you don't have experience there, or maybe you're not, not a very technical person, then rest assured, it's a very user-friendly platform to use. It's very intuitive and very quick and easy to learn, especially if we compare it to things like running Facebook ads or you know using different other softwares, integrated them, all that kind of jazz, that can get very technical very quickly. When you look at managing properties on Airbnb, very low amount of technical skill that's required to do so. So for most people, they already have the skills that they need and they just need to develop the right systems and the right strategies and learn how to put it all together. It's not really about learning a whole bunch of totally new skills as much as it is putting them together in the right way with the right systems to make it happen. And again, there's a link down in the description down below to a free training that you can check out where it'll walk you through all those different systems, all those different tools and resources that you'll need to bring those skills of yours together and leverage them into growing a really great business out of it. So I highly recommend you click the link down below in the description to check out that free training as well. So that's the next reason is just the really easy entry that you have given that there's not a huge technical barrier to entry. Now the third or sorry, I guess fourth reason now why I think this is such a great lifestyle business specifically is because I already mentioned, you know, the, the low stress that comes from not having these big, huge expenses looming over your head. But the other really great lifestyle element to this business is that you can quite easily set up the right systems so that you can run this business remotely from anywhere in the world. Now that's really ideal to have a business where you can run it from anywhere in the world. It gives you a lot of flexibility, a lot of different options, and it's a really cool industry to be in. You're in the travel and tourism industry. So for lifestyle, it doesn't really get much better than that. There's a few different cool perks that from my experience come along with being a part of a business like this, especially if you're in a community of other people that are in a similar line of business. So for example, I run BNB Mastery Program, where we have a community of hundreds of students all around the world who are managing other people's properties successfully on Airbnb and we can often travel to one another's listings so that's really really cool as well so again for all these reasons and a whole bunch of other ones, I do feel like Airbnb management is just a fantastic business to get started in if you're a beginner and you're looking for a great lifestyle business. There are very few other businesses that can give you consistent monthly cash flow without risk, without upfront capital, without monthly expenses looming over your head that can be highly scalable and that can be heavily automated so you can run it passively. There's really not a lot of businesses that fit that mold and that people in general tend to have the skills necessary where there's not a big technical barrier to entry. There's no big capital barrier to entry. Really just about anyone who has the drive and dedication can get started in this business and be very, very successful. Now, the other big perk is that then you can roll that experience and expertise over that you gain and actually use it to leverage it into growing your wealth long-term by investing in properties. And that's something that I've started doing. That's something that I talk to people and coach people on as well as investing in properties for short-term rental. There's endless opportunity and possibility with this business model. And I really do find that it's an incredible business model for people starting out. And I'm constantly amazed by how well my students do in the program. I teach them starting from absolutely nothing and getting their first properties within just a few weeks or a couple of months. So again, I highly recommend you check out the free train that's linked down in the description below. If you want to learn exactly the process for this, how I was able to scale this business and get myself when I started this business first off the bat to six figures in the first year. So I highly recommend you check that out. Check out the link in the description down below to check out that training. Uh, and again, if you like this video, if you got value from it, hit that like button. Make sure you click the subscribe button as well to stay up to date with the channel. And I will see you next time.